I made a high frequency, low power, multi-band antenna from some computer wire. The question is, will it work? Today I'm back at Providence Park and I'm going to show you how I made this antenna. I'm going to get it up into some of these trees. I'm going to measure the SWR on several hand bands. Then I'm going to try to make a few contacts. It's going to be fun. Let's get going. So the four stranded computer cable I use about 28 feet of it to go up. That acts as the feed line. From there, after 28 feet, I split out the two end cables and I run those out 22 feet on each side. So the total length of the antenna is about 44 feet wide and 28 feet up. It's meant to be hung about 20 feet up, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is where I split the four strands into two. And you can see I'm using zip ties to hang the antenna from here and then both of the two outside strands will go out 22 feet each. I bought this spool of four stranded computer wire at a ham fest. I think I paid $12 for the whole thing. There might be enough wire on here to make another antenna. When I was at the ham fest and I bought the uh, spool of wire, I also bought this connector. It has BNC in one end and then split out on the other. I'm going to use this to connect it to my radio. I'm going to put those wires in there, connect this up to my radio, and hope it works. So I have my antenna up in that tree. It's about 20 feet up. And then I have it running down. You can see the bungee cord right there. That's about 9 feet up. And then I have the other end going over there with some more bungee cord. And that's about eight feet up. So it's in an inverse V position. Let's see how that works. I'm going to hook it up to my radio. For the radio, I'm using my Zygu X5105 HF QRP low power radio. Uh, this works on the 80 meter band up to the 10 meter band and even six meters. The receive on this radio is pretty good. I just heard the big island of Hawaii and he's chatting with somebody in California. Not too bad so far. The Zygu X5105 has an automatic antenna tuner built into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to tune at 14.254. Let's see what happens. Wow, I don't know, let's check the SWR. Oh, look at that. It's almost one to one at our center frequency. That's awesome. So the antenna tuner did a great, a great job of tuning right in the middle of the 20 meter band. Awesome. Super stoked. The antenna tuned up great on 20 meters. Let's try 40. Here I'm tuned. Here I'm tuned to 7.250 and let's hit the antenna tuner. Let's check the SWR. We want the SWR to be as low as possible, down to one. There it is, look at that. That's great, almost one to one. Boy, this antenna tuner in this Zygu is fantastic. Really happy with it. That's great, so this antenna tunes on 20 and 40. Hotel 6 Victor, W3 Freddy Freddy. 
Kilo 4 Bravo Bravo Lima QRP. No, nothing. I did hear somebody. Kilo 4 Bravo Bravo Lima QRP. PQCQ from W3 Freddy Freddy. We're on the West Coast. Uh, Jeremy and I are sitting here with W8 Yankee Charlie Mike K6 QAZ. So this main station up in Maine is participating in a contest. I'm going to see if I can get them. Listen how clear it is. Kilo 4, Bravo, Bravo, Lima, QRP. November 8, Lima, Whiskey, nope, Five, not this time. Like it's a beautiful day out today, though. I'm in the shade, but I think it's close to 90 degrees. Okay, really clear skies. Much, it's nice. The call, and, uh, that's a, a new multiplier for me. Thank you very much. Good luck if you participate. Otherwise, uh, uh, enjoy the day. 73, QRZ from Alpha Bravo 1, Echo Papa. Kilo 4, Bravo Bravo Lima, QRP. Okay, uh, the uh, Foxtrot Echo Tango again? Nope. This antenna is quiet too. Okay, I mean. You. For a scrap antenna, this is, seems to be working really well. I hope I'm able to make a contact. Guys, tuning up. It's rude. USL, you are 5-9 in Georgia, Golf Alpha, Golf Alpha, Golf Alpha. Okay, uh, appreciate the 5-9 and Golf That's Alpha. That's Appreciate it, and good luck if you're participating in the CARL uh, special event. 7-3 to you, good luck in the contest. Thank you. QRZ from Alpha, Bravo 1, Echo Papa, stroke 150. That's awesome. On a little homemade antenna from a park in Georgia using five watts up to Maine. Awesome. K4, two, I'm sorry, the call again? Kilo four, Bravo, Bravo, Lima. Can I have your call sign again? I'm QRP portable in a park. Oh, all right, all right. Do you know your Do you know your park number? Your park number? No, this isn't a, a park number for Poda for parks on the air. This is just a local park I come to. All right. Well, I wish I wish we we could get that. Um, what what park are you at? Can you tell me your park? Providence Park, Providence Park in Milton, Georgia. Providence Park, Milton, Georgia. City Park, City Park, Milton, Milton. All right, well, thanks a lot. Let me just make sure I got your call right. Uh, Kilo 4, Bravo, Bravo, Lima. Is that a QS QSL? QSL, QSL. Your call in state, please. Where are you? Yeah, Kilo Uniform 8 Tango. Kilo United 8 Tango. Your state, please. Oh, 
did he go away? Did the band just drop out? Seven three to you. Enjoy the contest. All right, uh, QRZ for Kilo United Eight Tango. That's great. Made another contact on yeah, forty three, meters. Four, uh, Seven dot two three three. Back to you. That was awesome. Sound like he heard me pretty well too. Love this antenna. Kilo United Eight Tango K U eight T. Uh, he was in Indiana at a state park, and uh, he's running some other kind of contest, like a park-to-park -park contest. I'm not sure, but I don't think this park, being a city park, uh, is included in that, but he'll look it up. But that was a good contact. He gave me a 5x5 five five signal report, so I'm pretty excited. That's two contacts, one on 20 meters, one on 40 meters. Antenna's working great. What a great day in the park. Um, Got to test a new antenna for the very first time, one that I made for well under 20 bucks, and it worked great. Uh, I was able to tune it on a bunch of different ham bands uh, from 40 meters all the way up to 10. I didn't try six, but uh, it worked. I couldn't believe it. The receive on it was nice and quiet, and I was able to make two contacts, one in Indiana and one in Maine. I mean, that's great for uh, such an easy to build easy to put up and super portable antenna. Really impressed with that. I'm also really impressed with the Zygu's automatic antenna tuner. I mean, that thing tuned up the antenna down from sometimes nine and 10 uh, to one SWR down to one to one. So great tuner in that little radio. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.